Before we dive into this fascinating piece of historical ingenuity, make sure to subscribe to Backyard Wisdom. The story of the Depression-era pipe stove is more than nostalgia. It's a lesson in resourcefulness, energy efficiency, and DIY solutions that can still inspire how we heat our homes today. During the 1930s, families faced extreme financial hardship. Buying conventional heating systems or fuel was often impossible, so people had to rely on their ingenuity. Among the cleverest solutions was the pipe stove, a deceptively simple device capable of warming entire rooms with minimal fuel. Understanding how these stoves worked not only gives us a window into Depression-era life, but also practical ideas for modern, sustainable heating solutions. The Great Depression forced families to make do with limited resources, and heating was a major challenge. Coal and wood were expensive or scarce, and many homes had inadequate insulation. The pipe stove addressed these problems by using a single heat source to warm multiple areas. Its design maximized the energy of a small fire, making it a lifeline for households that otherwise might have faced freezing conditions indoors. Today, the same principles can inform how we efficiently distribute heat in off-grid cabins, workshops, or even backyard studios. A typical pipe stove consisted of a small firebox connected to a network of pipes running through the room or house. These pipes acted as heat exchangers. Hot air from the fire travelled through the metal pipes, radiating warmth into the surrounding space. Unlike modern forced air systems, this method relied entirely on convection and radiation, with no electricity required. The clever use of metal piping meant that a modest fire could provide surprisingly consistent heat across a room, demonstrating a mastery of thermal dynamics without modern technology. Versatility was key to the pipe stove's popularity. Families could build these stoves from scrap metal, old barrels and leftover piping. Even a small stove could warm a living room, kitchen and adjoining spaces if the piping was strategically routed. Additionally, pipe stoves doubled as cooking surfaces in many households. A firebox could support a kettle or pot, allowing families to cook meals while staying warm. For modern DIY enthusiasts, this combination of heating and cooking efficiency is a principle worth exploring, particularly in off-grid or survival scenarios. While building a stove from scrap materials today requires careful attention to safety, the underlying concept can be applied in controlled settings. Metal piping can be used to create radiant heat panels in workshops or greenhouses. A small wood stove can be connected to a network of pipes strategically routed to distribute warmth efficiently. Insulating pipes where appropriate can prevent heat loss and improve efficiency. The key is understanding that even minimal fuel can be leveraged for maximum warmth through careful design, a lesson that remains relevant for anyone interested in sustainable heating or DIY energy solutions. Families often use scavenged materials to construct these stoves. A 55-gallon drum could serve as the firebox, with stovepipe segments routed across floors and walls. Simple iron brackets kept pipes in place, and heat-resistant paint protected wooden surfaces nearby. Some households even installed reflective metal panels behind pipes to amplify warmth. These strategies showcase practical problem-solving that balance safety, efficiency and resource limitations. 
Modern enthusiasts can replicate these principles using proper materials and safety standards to heat cabins, workshops or greenhouses efficiently. You know, studying the Depression-era pipe stove really teaches us about resilience, ingenuity and, well, efficient energy use. These stoves weren't luxury items at all. They were lifelines, providing warmth and sustenance during a period of real scarcity. By examining their design and function, we gain insights into low-tech heating solutions that honestly reduce fuel consumption while maximizing output. For backyard enthusiasts, off-grid builders, or anyone interested in sustainable living, these historical solutions remain surprisingly relevant and applicable even today. Begin with a certified small wood stove as your firebox, rather than constructing from scrap metal for safety. So, first, identify the spaces you want to heat and map out a simple piping or duct system to radiate warmth. Use insulated stove pipe where necessary to prevent heat loss and protect nearby surfaces. And you'll want to install reflective metal panels behind key sections to improve heat distribution. Always include proper ventilation and, of course, follow modern fire safety regulations. Even a scaled-down version of the Depression-era design can dramatically improve heating efficiency without consuming large amounts of fuel. The Depression-era pipe stove reminds us that necessity, more often than not, drives innovation. By combining ingenuity, resourcefulness and practical materials, families created solutions that warmed entire rooms, conserved fuel and even provided cooking surfaces. Today, these lessons encourage us to think creatively about energy efficiency and sustainable heating. Whether for off-grid living, workshops or backyard studios, applying these historical principles can yield both practical and educational benefits. If you want to explore more historical DIY techniques and practical survival lessons, subscribe to Backyard Wisdom. Try experimenting safely with the pipe stove concept in your own space and share your results with the community. Learning from the past equips you with knowledge that is both timeless and honestly immediately useful.